In today's video, I want to show you what to do when you see two Castos players or seriously simple podcasting players on your Elementor dynamic template. So some of you who are using our Elementor uh, templates included with Seriously Simple Podcasting, especially if you're using the dynamic portion to show every podcast episode in a nice, uh, well-designed podcast layout. Sometimes you'll see two players like you see here. This is a very easy fix. We go to Dashboard. We go to Podcast Settings. Player. And this little check mark right here is generally the cause of the issue. We uncheck that. Save settings, go back to all episodes. Let's just take a look at an episode. And now we will only see, as soon as my WordPress site loads, one podcast player. This is what Elementor, this is the, the podcast player that Elementor template is calling, saying, hey, display this uh, podcast player in our template. And then down below that secondary podcast player that we had set on by default in Seriously Simple Podcasting, now that we shut it off on the content section, we don't see it anymore. It's that easy. <laughs> it's just those that one little check mark is the cause of confusion. So generally, we see this uh, from anyone who's transitioning to a new theme on their WordPress website, and they're using Elementor for the first time. Um, 99.9% .9 of the users have that check mark off to show the player in the content because that's how most themes work. But now that we're using Elementor templates, we don't need that anymore if you're using this template. Um, and that's that's how you fix it. It's that easy. All right. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. We have a bunch of other Elementor videos here on using our uh, Seriously Simple Podcasting templates. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.